Hey everybody, how are we doing again? Alright, now uh, I got something going on that I'm really excited to share with you. Check this out, okay. Watch what uh, Ableton is doing. Now I'm not touching any MIDI devices, okay? I'm not triggering that, any of these things myself. So, yeah. say to yourself, okay, that's probably just in the arrangement, uh, not, yeah, the arrangement view, and everything's just automated on there, right? Okay, check out arrangement view. Nothing. Okay. So what the heck is controlling Ableton right now, right? Is it Max for Live? Nope. No Max for Live going on. Here's what it is. Ready? Check this out. I've got a little uh, clip here. Triggering clips and uh, that same clip is also changing the volume. You could automate anything from a clip. How crazy is that, right? So you say to yourself, Eric, how the heck are you doing that, right? Easier than it looks. It's a hack. I came up with this. I said to myself, I'm going to come up with something cool to share to the world, share with the world. And here it is. See this track here? MIDI 2. And this is a Mac hack. I mean, you probably have some way to do it on the, on the PC as well. You need Windows. You need like MIDI Aux or one of those kind of things. I'm sending MIDI from this track out the virtual port and a virtual MIDI port here, right? And then what does the virtual MIDI port do? Well, if I look in my live preferences, ta-da, there is, where is it now? IAC driver virtual port remote on. Huh? What could that possibly do? That's right. It sends MIDI out, gets MIDI back in again, and uses that as remote control for Ableton for live. So effectively have live controlling live, right? Trigger that clip, check it out. There it goes. And away we go. All right, try it. If you have any questions, post a comment. I think it's the coolest thing since sliced bread. You gotta try it. Take care.